Hey, it's Arant here. In this training video, I'm going to share with you how to sell on System.io and just walk you through the actual steps to actually sell a digital product. Now, this is a question that came from somebody in my tech membership, and they sent me a support ticket with some really great question and outline. And I want to read it out to you without showing their name so you can see what they actually asked, because I know a lot of you are probably going to encounter a similar thing. And I want to give you the answer and share it publicly on my channel as well. So let me share my screen and show you the question. So the question is, I'm needing to sell an ebook on your templates library. I have found the folder ebooks, guides, and lead magnets. From what I can see from this folder, this is more about ebook creation rather than selling it or creating lead magnet around it. Would I be correct in thinking that? I have already made the ebook as PDF through Etsy template I purchased, but need to do lead magnet, or is it a sales page to sell my ebook on social media channels, Facebook, IG, via system? I need your help with the funnel. I started the funnel with three stages of the funnel. Is it correct? Sales page, order form, thank you page with the PDF attached, or does it go in the email sequence? I have also an email sequence ready to go, and I'm offering a free masterclass for the first 50 people to purchase the ebook, but this won't happen until August. I haven't put the email sequence into system. We really appreciate your help. We need to launch by X date. All right, great question. So let me explain the process of how you would actually do this particular funnel. And then I will do it in a generic way and I'll actually show templates of what's available in my template membership to be able to speed up the process in case you are paying. So first of all, terminology, let's get clear on this. So when you are saying a sales page and an order form, a sales page is basically the page where you are giving somebody all the information they need to make a decision in order to buy from you or not. On that page, it is information. You tell them who it's for, who it's not for, any testimonials, social proof, the price, any case studies, answer frequently asked questions, money back guarantee, things along these lines. Now, on the sales page, if you are selling something like an ebook, which is a low ticket product, I do not recommend that you have two separate pages. So you see how she wrote sales page in order form? Just have it on the same page. What that means is you're still putting all the information on the one page, which is the sales page, but you're actually putting the order form at the same time. This is exactly what I do in my paid advertising funnel, which is landing page in a day. You will see my funnel and it is really simple. It's one pager and it, you can buy on the page directly. So that's what I would recommend. Now I will show you a template that you can use in a moment as well, but I just want to go through the terminology first. So that's point number one. If you're selling a low ticket digital product, don't do sales page and order form. Just do order form, which has all the sales page information you would do as well. So that's point number one. Second point, thank you page and the PDF attached. So what I would recommend is do not put the PDF on the thank you page if you are collecting a freebie. What I would recommend is that you do put a, the PDF on the email because you want to make sure that they gave you the right email address. And I'll tell you that the main reason is that typically sometimes people actually misspell their email address. And what will happen is that they will actually enter the wrong email address. And sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's accidental. A lot of time it's accidental. And then they get the PDF, whether it's free or paid, and you don't have a way to communicate with them. For example, even if they're paid, yes, they get the PDF, but they don't get the invoice because that's automated. So there is different things along these lines, which is really important to get the right email address. So what I would recommend in this case is do a thank you page, which is also known as an order confirmation page. And in that page, you basically will do a thank you video, obviously with confetti, confettipage.com. And on that page, you're going to basically say, thank you so much for purchasing the PDF. You're awesome, really excited to serve you. Go check your inbox, the PDF has been, or the ebook has been sent there, and they'll be able to get access to it. Now, there's two types of ways to do the PDFs. Number one, it could be just a PDF, which is just you just give them the link, which is publicly available. Another way is if it's password protected on the back end. Now, I will link below this video the different videos that I have on my channel, which explain all of this stuff. So I have a video about the sales page setup. I have a video about the ebook, and I have a video on the checkout page as well. So I've got a video on all those things. I will link them in the description for you to check out. So that's if you are not in my paid membership, this is the process. You basically would do an order form, which has the sales page information, a thank you page, which is the order confirmation page, and an email, which will trigger as soon as they buy, and that email will have the PDF. So that is the information for you if you're not in my membership, if you are just watching this on my YouTube channel. Now let's just assume you're in my membership. I'm now gonna show you the resources 
that are available to you to simplify and streamline everything. So here is the templates membership. Now, what you want to do is you want to type in the word low, because I think it's called low ticket funnel, something like that, and click on the word system templates as well. Now you're going to see these two pages. You're going to see low ticket product, one page sales page. Okay. And you're going to click here on the click to use. What this will do is this will open a new tab and then you're going to see right here the template video release, which is the one you'll see on my YouTube channel as well. Or actually, it's not on my YouTube channel. I will upload to my YouTube channel as well, so it's available. What is the template? Why it matters? The conversion stats, the Google Doc template, companion templates, and all the information you need to know. So all of this is going to be explained and you can see, for example, if you click on here, it will actually show you what the sales page looks like. So that's point number one. And this is what I was telling you about where I'm saying that do the sales page, right? So this is, you can see, this is a comprehensive sales page, but on this sales page, you also want to include the point for them to actually make the payment, which is what you see right here. So all that is going to be explained. Now, if you were to click on this button right here and you're in my membership, when you just click on this red button, it will instantly install the template. So all you got to do is change the text, change the colors and you have the template all set up as well. So that's if you are in my membership. So that's the first thing is find this particular template, which is this one, low ticket digital product, one page sales page template, click here and click to use. Next thing, you're gonna type in think, and then you're going to see here, thank you video, video and thank you script, a video script. So you're gonna click here on click to use, and then you're going to see a template for the thank you page as well with a tutorial on how to record a video and all that good stuff. So this is the second template that you're going to need. The next template you're going to need is if you search for the word checkout and just click uncheck the system. Okay. Maybe check search for the word order form. Perfect. See where it says selling on system IO. You're going to click on click to use. And then in here, you're going to be able to click on this PDF checklist. It will open in a new tab. And in there, you're going to be able to see step by step. If you've never actually set up a auto form in system IO, this is literally going to walk you through. This is like 28 page PDF. You're actually going to see step by step where to click and how to do every single part of the whole process. Okay. So all of this is going to be explained how to give people access, all that good stuff. All right. So that's that. That's the other templates. So you got three templates in the membership that are really relevant. They're going to make your life a lot easier on how to do all of that stuff. So that's about it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have additional questions for me, please leave a comment below with any questions you have. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment with the word value. And if you're curious to know about my template membership, it is extremely affordable, only $99 per year. You can go to our runtemplates.com forward slash membership. Or if you want tech support, then I have another membership for that, which is iran.link forward slash plus, which is $27 a month or $197 a year, extremely affordable. And it's specifically designed for system IO customer. That's about it. Thanks all for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.